He spoke up and said, but governor, what about the right of dissent? What about freedom of speech? What about the Constitution? And I pulled the Constitution out and said, you read what it says about treason. It says giving overt aid and comfort to the enemy. It's very plain. And I said, if you can't distinguish at Harvard between honest dissent and overt acts of treason, then you ought to come on down to Alabama and we'll teach you some law down there. Because y'all don't know some of it in Harvard. You shouldn't want to mess with politics. You shouldn't want to. Who is that? Welcome. Yes, it's a dangerous thing. Politics will eat you alive. Spit you right out. You wouldn't even know what to do. You're not in any place to mess with politics. Good advice. Thank you. That's interesting advice. I, I will pay attention to that. I made so many mistakes. It wasn't even funny. I was brought up bad and I taught my children bad. Now I know better. Who is that? Is it John? No. Who is it? My name is George Wallace. Sounds familiar. I'm sorry not to know who you are, but it sounds very familiar. Thank you for coming through. I just want to tell you that in order to deal with politics, you have to know an awful lot, and you have to be real strong inside. Yes, I don't know much, and I'm not very strong. And you push, you have to push. I made it as far as I did, as I pushed. All right, uh, let's be constructive. Um, t so I don't mess with politics. I'm a free artists just coming up with new ideas and I want to help humanity as a free artist. So the problem is the contact. Are you familiar with the problem of the contact? Which contact are you talking about? Between the aliens and the humans. Oh, I thought you were talking about between people and the government. No, no, no. No. Not all this right. politics. All it's right. all it's right. about the aliens. Yeah, I don't know much about those aliens. I know they're there. I, I see. We don't, we don't talk much. Uh, how is up there in the, in the spirit world? Uh, it's a much better place. That's why I warn people not to get into politics, because it's dishonest. It, uh, you, you can't help but get dishonest in some way or another. I see. I see. You know, and they force your hand. You, even though you're strong, there's some portion of it that just ain't right. Just ain't right. right. And you've got to go along with it to help the people. And it's wrong, but yes. yet it's right. I understand. Thank you for telling me. So, the problem is, think about it. You, are, you know the politics. Uh, think about it. The aliens want to come. And the, the politicians want to stay in charge and have military. Of course they do. That's the whole game. So how to seduce the politicians to welcome aliens? What to do? How to? What can aliens do to make they the, the to, process smooth? They have to let them know that they're going to still be in power. But being that aliens are higher technical and spiritual beings, yep. it's hard for them to believe that they're going to leave them in power because they just don't believe it. You yes. know what I mean? They, I understand. They say, oh yeah, sure, you're going to leave us in power, All right. <laughs> we don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> so that's why they're, they're struggling to keep, keep a hold of everything, see? Right. And, and so if they keep them out, well then, they're safe. Uh -huh. Unless they attack. But he, he sees, the main people see that these are good aliens most, for the most part. Uh -huh. So they, they feel sort of safe. Not really, but sort of. Uh -huh. Because they figure if they attack, then they're still in power anyway. So, because... <laughs> uh -huh. People won't trust the aliens, they'll trust them. So they'll listen to anything they say. So they'll still be in power, see? Uh-huh. And uh, if they're still in power, then they're happy, so. Yeah. Um, 
but they don't see that the aliens are going to attack. So they, I, I don't see that either. Actually, right. being a former politician, you look at where they're coming from and what they're trying to do and whatever things they're doing, mm -hmm. and you just know they're not going to attack. Mm -hmm. Now these other appealing types, they're. Uh -huh. They're a lot more subtle with their attacks because they're they're just not not physically able to to take hold. You know, yes. There's not enough of them uh -huh. to be effective. Yes. So they work in on the down low. So yeah. So and the politicians know that too. So. Mm -hmm. They're just saying, well, wait, whenever we see something that looks like a reptilian mm -hmm. act of what, because they know their methods mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. now, because they've been mm -hmm. around a while. Mm -hmm. And they they know that the others are going to just nip it in the bud, because they're not allowed to nip it beforehand, but they're allowed, as soon as they do something, mm -hmm. if they see an action, they're allowed to like come in and smack their hands real hard. <laughs> and, and then they back off. So. Right, right. So, so yes. Yeah, so what should we do? Like, yeah, there is. It's it's a problem which doesn't have a solution. It's 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 very delicate. Let me tell you. If if you're to get them to trust the aliens, they're gonna have to really do a lot of stuff to to let them know that they're still gonna be in the power yes. spot because they don't trust that because. As I said, they have all more, a lot more power up there than we have down here, mm -hmm. and there's a big gap there in trust because uh, aliens are trying to let them trust them, mm -hmm. but they don't because uh -huh. they're too powerful. Mm -hmm. But yet they know they're good, but they still don't. They think if they make alliances, one of these days, just down the road a little bit, mm -hmm. they're going to take over. Yes. So, um, so that's what they're worried about. They they can see that right now they're not planning anything hostile, mm -hmm. but but yet th they think that the subtly it'll come subtly mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. takeover, mm -hmm. and they're not even sure that they're not planning to do that now subtly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So so. They look everywhere. They keep their fingers on everything. So they're they're quite quite knowledgeable about any activity that any alien does. Mm -hmm. If they're because they have their feelers out everywhere. So they mm -hmm. even read every single. So they have somebody read every single newspaper and listen to every single newscast. See if there's anything going on mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. So so that's. I know that for sure. Your government is all really bad, bad news. So, how does it feel in Jim's body? Yeah, he's okay. Thanks for coming through. Uh, much honor and much love to you. If you don't, have you met God or angels or anybody up there very highly spiritual? How they look? How do they feel? If you, well, I. To be honest with you, I'm not on the highest realms with them. Um, I wasn't such a good person all the time, so all right. so I have a little bit of time left for me to, to pay off. So, okay. but um, but they're good. They're they're very friendly. They're very loving. Mm -hmm. and they don't judge me. Okay, and that's a good thing because. I'm already embarrassed, but they're very kind. Can you describe them, who they are? Well, there are other spirits here. Uh-huh. They're very kind, and they're very hospitable. Are they human or higher? They're higher. How do you Because I'm not, I'm, I'm from the seventh dimension, as yes. you would call it. Yes, yes. But I'm in a space in the seventh dimension where I have to stay for a little while because I'm not fit to go in other areas. Okay. So there's other areas. There's it's a huge, huge, unbelievable area, but it's mm -hmm. 
I'll be out of here someday. Do we have choices there? Yes. Yes, we have do choices. Do you keep free will? Free will? Yes, we have free will. We always have free will no matter where you are. Do you have pleasures there? Well, some people do. Mm -hmm. I'm not having much pleasure right now, but I'm, I'm actually happy. But I'm not yeah. don't having pleasures, I don't think. No, no, do I wouldn't call them pleasures, no. Do, do, do you visit Earth? Uh, I, just now, I don't know how I got here, but they sent me here to talk to you, so I came. Thank you. Uh, I guess it's because of my invitation. What invitation? I invited someone knowledgeable in human politics, and they sent you. Oh, alrighty. Thank you for coming. Uh, so you at will you can kind of just browse Earth and go to different places. No, I'm not permitted to do that. Do you have what access to information do you have? Can you look up something in the internet or some information, some books or stuff? I have limited access, but I know what I know. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I know what I know, and I know what's going on here. Yes. Oh, you do you keep an eye on politics? Everybody sort of knows what's happening mm -hmm. from where they're from. Ah. I have world news from where I'm from. It just comes to me, the more important things. How many realities are you looking at at the same time? Timelines? Are you looking only where I am or parallel timelines, alternative timelines? I'm only looking at the timelines I'm in. Mean. Oh, or I was in, I should say. I was okay. in. All right. I'm in four, four or five, but I concentrate on the one where I was most successful. So, uh -huh. what were successful? Okay, I see. Okay. So they were the ones which where you want they're successful. Yes. And you still look at that. But I I study what I did wrong there. Uh huh. And I study what I did right in that and the good ones, uh -huh. and then I try to make them. I try to bring them all into one, uh -huh. sort of, so that I can move on to another set of timelines. So. Do you know what's the plan for you? Are you going to incarnate or are you going to incarnate elsewhere? I get that choice after it's my time here is done. I get to decide when I'm able. Have you met your loved ones? Not yet. No. Oh, you wait for those? Yes. But the relatives? They are, yeah. yeah. Well, hold on. You're getting me all confused here. <laughs> uh, my loved ones, I can say hello to. Yes. Okay. But they don't. But they don't say hello back right yet. Oh, so, I see. I don't, I'm not sure if you understand that. Or not. I do understand. Of okay. course, I do. Perfect. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you, actually. Well, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. It's a pleasure, and um, it's nice to talk to you in the seventh dimension. Wow! Uh, do you do you speak to your higher self? Oh yeah, he's around. How does he look? It looks. You can't see him. Oh. I can't see him. You but I can talk to him. You didn't see him here. You don't see them there. But at least you can talk to well, him. Well, maybe I can see him when all this is done. When I get through this, whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay. So, do you see aliens there? Ah, uh, no, I do not see aliens. I know about aliens because they're around the Earth and stuff, because, all right, all right. and I get news from the Earth, but I don't see them directly. No. All right. So, how does it feel? Does it feel like Earth at all? Like you have chairs and tables and oh desks? yeah, we have everything. Yeah, I, I can sit down. And I can have a cup of coffee if I want a cup of coffee. Yeah. You know. But we're in spirit world, so there's it's all spirit. It's all like uh, I I can't even. Can you spill a coffee? No, I I mean if I spill it, it won't make a mess. It just goes away. <laughs> it just just disappears. Is it funny? Well, it can be sometimes, I guess. <laughs> How was the transition? Was it pleasant or was it? I'm last year. Uh, uh, transition was good. I, I, Who did meet you? Did you meet any angels or anybody? Yes, I, I met some angels, yes. How do they look? They're big. Uh-huh. 
some of them have wings, some of them don't. Do they look pretty? They look like, well, I don't know, none of them sort of, ain't desirable to me, but they're big and they look half like a woman and half, I mean, halfway between man and woman. They don't really look real masculine, but they, they don't literally look real feminine either, so. Did you see Jesus? He hasn't visited yet, but I'm supposed to be able to see him soon. Ah, any other saints? Saints? Yes, I met some saints, but I'm not allowed to tell you who. But how do they look? Do they look like... They're spirits. They look like... Uh, well, they're a little bit more glowy than others. Mm -hmm. The saints are a little bit higher. The ones that really did great jobs and... Mm -hmm. and they're a little bit bluer, a little bit brighter. Uh, do they have rings around the head? Nah, they don't. Have, but they do have auras, like auras. Yes, they have auras all over them. Yeah, and it's a little bit more bright blue and bright white, white and bright bright colors. Uh -huh. The lower ones have a dimmer colors, but still are beautiful. But the bright blues and whites are what you look for. Do you do anything creative, like drawing, painting, music, anything of that sort? Yes, we write. I do writing. All right. I, I do some writing, and I, I, I hum a lot. I do some humming, uh -huh. and I listen to music, yeah. Uh -huh. And they give you a choice of what you like to hear, so, uh -huh. yeah, so. Do you have friends up there? Yeah, I have some friends. So what do you do together, just chat? We chat, yes. We, uh, I'm not allowed to tell you what we do. All We're right. not. It's nothing bad. Why? I just don't know why they won't let me say it. So can you do field trips? We go places, yeah. On Earth? Not on Earth. No. Where? We go places in seventh dimension. Ah. Oh. There's all kinds of places here. Ah. Oh. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Really. really. Really quite something to see. So, do you have an idea about the path forward? Do you have an idea of an ascension? Oh, your ascension thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know much about that. I have to be honest. Uh, I know what's happening, but I don't have any control over that. And I don't. There, there is news of it, but I don't really quite understand it completely. I get, I'm not really th that interested in it, really. Really? Okay. So, but because it's not going to be happening when I get back, I don't think. Or if I just decide to come back, I might just stay up here or be a spirit guide or something. But it's, I don't know. Right now, I'm just interested in moving forward in where I am now. Are you becoming a healer? A healer? A healer. I am a healer, yes. How do you do this? Well, what, everybody in Seventh Heaven's healers. I mean, but they, who do you heal them? I heal, well, actually I haven't gotten anybody to heal, but they told me that if I wanted to, I could. Ah. It's, it's part of what we are. So to be a healer, you need to come back to Earth? You need to concentrate on it. Hmm. I need some healing with my gums. Oh, okay. Try healing me. I'll give you permission. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, later. From your seventh dimension. Now, let me think. Uh, you, there are some people on Earth who still remember who you are, right? Lots of people. I was very famous. Yes. But, you know, how long ago did you go? I don't know. Um, 10 oh, years, geez. 15? It's been more like 15, oh no, my, probably like 30 or 35. So all the few people really were, yeah, some people know you. They were adults and now they're maybe in 70s. I don't even know what date I died on, to be honest with what, you. What, what year? I don't know. I don't remember what That's year. That's fine. You know, who was the president? Well, I don't know. I can't remember. That's fine. I so, was in Arizona. That is fine. doesn't matter. My question is... Do you have a message? It will be published. Whatever you say now will be published. First, maybe oh, 20, 20 mm -hmm. people will, will listen to you. Then maybe 100 people. Then maybe 200. 
tell them something. Do you have some knowledge which you can share, like some some wisdom? Well, they sent me here to do politics, but I and so I already did my spiel on politics. Yes. So I, I don't know what what else I can tell them except be. It, it, the world is different than what you might think. It's, it's, it's really a good place. But if if you do a lot of bad stuff, you're not gonna appreciate it. Do you know what I mean? I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of good stuff you can get involved with that will make you happy on Earth. And then you move, and you even get happier. So. I don't know what I'm saying. Does no, no, it was perfect, actually. It was perfect. Um, you were thinking and saying, and I understand. Be uh, happy here on Earth. Be good. That's what you said. Yes. You have to. Uh, yeah, your vibration is real important here. Yes. Mine wasn't also that high. It mm -hmm. really wasn't. Um, I was a pretty bigoted kind of guy at the time. And I taught my kids bad. Now, you know, it's. I wasn't brought up to be a real nice guy. So I wasn't. So, but now they sent me back to tell you something that's good. Mm -hmm. That I'm in a better place and mm -hmm. I know that what you have to do to get to a better place. And my place is waiting for me. But I have to do a little time first in this place before mm -hmm. I even rise to a better place. Good. Even though the, I'm in seventh dimension, there are even parts of that that are higher than where I am. So. I see. But let me tell you, be a good person, give, because when you give, it'll come back. Maybe not in this lifetime, but it will come back in some way, sometime. That giving, that, it, it works. And the love, and the understanding, I had very little time for that, and now I'm paying for it, okay? Because now I understand how important it was that I had been a better person. But you see, when I come back next time, I'll have to make up for that. So, there's a good chance I'll be coming back to make up for that. <laughs> so I uh, that's what that way. <laughs> but um yeah, I I know more now than I ever did. But boy I didn't know nothing then. And I thought I knew everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was a big shot and I thought I was a powerful person. Mm -hmm. But you come up here and you see what a little piece of crap you were. <laughs> so so that's all I have to say. Thank you. Uh, do you do you have um, access to your past lives, future lives? I'm not allowed to discuss them with you. Yeah, but do you? Yes, I do have access to them, yes. Excellent. But I cannot do anything to change them. I see. You could only work on healing your past lives when you come back to Earth. Ah, I see. Because you have to live the right way to heal the past. Do you understand? Sure. And when you know what your past life is, then you know what you have, somewhat what you have to do to heal it. And so, if you know something that's come through from a past life, you can study how to heal it. And go to a psychic or whatever. Mm -hmm. They can help you with uh, what you need to do to make this life the best that it can be, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, and then when you make this life the best you can be, then the next life might be real happy and good for you, or else you don't have to come back. Uh -huh. I think they're gonna probably force me to come back. Uh, um, I probably deserve it, yeah. But um, I understand it, though. Mm -hmm. So, Is it good not to come back? For some people it is. They become a counselor or a higher spirit or or a, a, a servant of God in some way, a telepath that comes back and talks to people. Or, uh -huh. or 
I wasn't meant to be someone that came back and talked to people, let me tell you. But, but because I had a desire to make amends for some of the things that I did, they sent me back to talk about politics. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Thank you much. I appreciate very much your visit. And it was actually very bright. You are very bright, yes. Uh, it's a pleasure talking to you. And I think if recording goes, comes out well, it, people will really appreciate your visit. Thank you much. Well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm delighted to be here, I think. All right. So I'll talk to you later, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's love to you. I'm sorry this accent comes through. It's not quite right. Doesn't sound quite like me, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Exactly. That's my mantra. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so, well, uh, blessings to you. Blessings. And I'm going to move back. Goodbye. Bye. <sighs>